Thank you. Thank you. Everybody, please have a seat. Have a seat. Well, today I'm honored uh, to welcome a little up-and-coming basketball team to the White House uh, called uh, the world champion Miami Heat. Now, for many teams that come here, this is a lot of cameras in one place. It's a little overwhelming. Uh, but for the Heat, this is what practice looks like. This is normal. Uh, I, I know this is uh, the first trip for some of these players, uh, but a few of them were here a couple of years ago uh, for a pickup game on my birthday. Now, uh, I'm not trying to take all the credit, Coach, but I think uh, that it's clear that going up against me prepared them <laughs> to take on Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook. It sharpened their skills. It gave them the competitive edge that they needed. Uh, and I think part of the reason they came back today is they want another shot at the old guy. Uh, <laughs> but first, uh, I have to congratulate the Heat on their well-earned title. Uh, you know, this team uh, traveled a long road to get uh, to where they are. In 2011, the Heat got all the way to the finals, uh, only to come up short. Uh, but when you fall, the real test is whether you can ignore the naysayers, uh, pick yourself up, and come back stronger. Uh, and that's true in basketball, but it's also true in life. That's exactly what these guys did. Instead of getting down, they got better. Uh, Dwayne Wade worked on his core. LeBron learned some post moves from uh, Hakeem. Shane Battier came on board. Uh, they became a more complete team. They got to know each other better and trust each other more and they become, became more fun to watch. Uh, in game four against the Thunder last year, we saw LeBron uh, carried off the floor with cramps, uh, only to come back a few minutes later and hit a dagger of a three-pointer to put the heat ahead. Uh, during game six, we saw him pull off one of the greatest performances in basketball playoff history, dropping 45 points and had a scary look in his eye. Uh, we saw Dwayne Wade. Uh, the heart and soul of this team, continue to do whatever it takes to win, including leading the team in blocks. Uh, and at the post-game uh, press conferences, he dressed well enough to land himself in GQ magazine. Uh, show, show him your kicks here, Ryan. If, if, if any of you can pull this off, other than Dwayne Wade, let me know. Uh, we saw Chris Bosh uh, get injured but get healthy uh, right at the perfect time and uh, do outstanding work uh, throughout uh, the rest of the playoffs. Uh, and it wasn't just the big three. Uh, Mike Miller could barely walk. Mike, you look better now. You, you, you look broke down last year. But still hit seven three-pointers in the final game. I don't know how he did it, because he could not walk. He looked like an old man. Mario Ch Chalmers earned himself uh, a nickname from Dwayne Wade that I'm not allowed to repeat. But he did a great job. Uh, Shane Battier has always played impeccable defense, hit big threes. Uh, Jawan Howard, uh, grandpa, uh, <laughs> became the first member of the Fab Five uh, to win a ring. Uh, and coach, uh, coach continually set the tone uh, and kept these guys motivated uh, the entire way. So that team mentality, uh, with everybody doing their part, uh, is what finally put the heat over the top. And it's especially impressive when you think about everything they've had to deal with over the last few years. You know, this team uh, inspired a lot of passions on both sides. Uh, and I'm just talking about their dance moves now. Um, so we saw that video, LeBron. <laughs> but even though I'm a little disappointed that the Bulls didn't make it, uh, I do want to congratulate the Heat for a well-earned championship. Uh, LeBron said it's about damn time. Uh, and, and I want to thank them for taking the time this afternoon uh, to spend uh, with wounded warriors of Walter Reed uh, because, you know, you guys are heroes to them, but they're heroes to all of us. Uh, and, and let me just say one last thing about these guys, uh, and I mentioned this as we were coming in. Now, there's a lot of focus on uh, what happens on the court. But what's also important is what happens off the court. And I don't know all these guys, but I do know LeBron and, and Dwayne and, and, and Chris 
And uh, one of the things I'm proudest of is that they take their roles as fathers seriously. Uh, and you know, for all the young men out there who are looking up to them all the time, uh, for them to see somebody who cares about their kids and is uh, you know, there for them uh, day in, day out, that's a good message to send. It's a positive message to send, and we're very proud of them for that. So, we, uh, so congratulations again to the Miami Heat. And now we are going to take a picture that makes me look very short. I'm accustomed to it, but first I'm going to ask uh, uh, Coach to say a few words. Thank you. Thank you. Well, on behalf of uh, Mickey Harrison, Pat Riley, the entire Miami Heat organization, and our families, uh, we want to thank you for your hospitality today to be in the White House and also to be inspired uh, by the great men and women of, of the Walter Reed Hospital. We are honored and truly, truly humbled uh, to be here. Uh, we, uh, we actually hope that this team serves uh, as an inspiration to the nation uh, of what a group can do uh, when you come together and sacrifice your egos for a greater goal, uh, to come together with a real hard hat work ethic, uh, and to be able to persevere through adversity and a whole heck of a lot of criticism, uh, and still be able to accomplish uh, the ultimate dream. Fantastic. Thank you so Thanks. much. Come on, Mark. Am I to say something? Hey, you can if you want. Uh, it's your world, man. <laughs> uh, I mean, on, on behalf of um, myself and, and my teammates, we just want to thank you, um, you know, to piggyback what Spoh said for the hospitality, uh, for allowing us to be, I mean, in the White House. I mean, we're in the White House. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and Coach said, I, uh, Brad said it's real casual, so, I mean, we kids from Chicago and Dallas, Texas and Michigan and Ohio and South Dakota, <laughs> Miami. I mean, we <laughs> and we in the White House right now. This is like, hey, Mama made it. <laughs> well, uh, all I got to say is, uh, we got a ten-day contract left. Yeah. <laughs> Pick my man up. You, you guys could use the shooter. My point guard. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. All right. You guys got